Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good oh, fish. Yeah. Get in the net. In the net. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fish. Beautiful. Flatties love a mullet. Hard to beat a mullet, Ron. Oh, oh there we like go. a good fish. A bit of weight in that one. Hey, folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics out on the water with Declan Williams, and we are chasing a few flatties on a new Z-Man plastic. Stay tuned. What need this net? Oh, big grunter. Well, that is not the flat one we were expecting to start with, no. but this could be what's been given us a couple of bites, I reckon. That's yeah, a pretty yeah. solid, solid spotted silver grunter. Solid little grunter. We've had a few little rattles and taps to start the session, and that could have been these guys here. So that's a fair chunk of grunter, and that is on the new Z-Man Mullitron 3.3 inch in the unrigged version. So oh. gold rush color, because the water's pretty dirty. Yeah. And that's not a bad fish to start the session deck. Not the yeah. flat one we're after, but that's a solid yeah. grunter. Definitely, I reckon, well, that's what, I mean, what a few of those taps have been. Yeah, so. we've been having a few tail grabs and head shakes, and finally one's connected. But uh, not the brown one. So we'll keep we'll keep tip, ticking along this edge. We're basically working a mangrove edge. We're here on the top of the tide, not ideal for flatties, but we're hitting this hard mangrove edge to start things off. And as the tide drops out, we're going to get into a few drains and a few edges. So there we go. That's a pretty cool fish. Good start to the session. Hit it nice up on the flats here. We're only in probably 80 centimetres of water to a metre of water. Just rolling these new 3.3 inch Z-Man Mullitron and hopping them off the bottom. That paddle tail attracting the attention of this fish and getting the bite. So this one's gonna go in the ice box for Sherry for dinner. We'll see if we can get a few flatties and send them back for you guys. <laughs> There's a little flatty. Hey, a little flat fish. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. I like seeing them come aboard no matter how big they are, right? Missed another all right fish on that cast, but. That's on the. Sort of racing snake would stay still. Houdini colour? Yeah, Houdini and that. Oh my god. That Mullitron. Cool thing, that little Mullitron, 3.3 inch and 4 inch available, and you can rig it on whatever jig head you like to, to fish the depth mm. and that that you're fishing. You're running a light jig head there, Dave? Yeah, just an eighth there. 1830? Yeah, 1830. Get him up on the shallows there and swim him around like a mullet. Beautiful. Where they smoke, there's fire. Yeah. I'm up for a big one. Here we go. Feels better as that water's yeah. getting out of the mangroves. There oh, there we go. What was that? Oh, he's got one of the brim. All right, one of the brim. He's got pinned. Finally. Had plenty had of rattles from those guys. rattle him there, oh, yeah. <laughs> Not quite in the mouth, but he had a go. <laughs> he's had a look at it. That's what that striking does. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of little mullet in the system here, so those even those brim are giving the mullet a bit of a stir up. Hmm. There we go. Oh, that felt like a good fish. Little honey hole there, mate. There's a few bites in there. Got him What's that time. I don't know what that was. Oh, some weird bites, eh? Well, it could That's be a bizarre. few of those grunter. That first bite was real good. That water's starting to drop out of those oh. mangroves now, and that edge is right firing on that up edge, a bit. Yeah. Where we're fishing here, we're basically we've got a, a hard mangrove edge, uh, and as the water's dropping out, we're fishing oh. just sort of the the edge of the drop off where the mangrove roots and that come out and drop down like a fairly solid edge to a little bit deeper water, and that sort of muddy sandy bottom. There's a little bit of patchy weed in here as well, so perfect for holding a few fish with that tide dropping and the flow coming this way. Oh, there's that, mate. One just needs to be oh, oh, yeah. He drilled it. Yeah. He drilled it, that guy. You want he the tapped, net on him? No, I'll just pull him in. He, him he in. tapped that a few times. Yeah, you've had a few rattles in that one area, eh? Yeah, fish are just starting to come on. Well, oh, he has smashed that thing. That is all the way down there on a little flatty, so. Definitely worth persisting if you're getting a few rattles or you yeah. get a fish in an area, it's worth persisting. So we just said where there's smoke, there's fire. You had that smaller one. Mm. And then he's a bit better fish, that one. He scoffed that thing that too. That thing is down there. He thought that was a mullet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh, that's, that's drilled nice right fish. in the boat. <laughs> Might get a net, eh? Yeah, well that was just slow rolling. That, Leave that guy there. And... That, um, that rounded wedge tail is just beautiful, hey? That wedge shaped rounded oh, sort of tail. Oh, that thing is down his mouth too. He Can't has see that scoffed thing it. 
You want an half dolly to Mullatron from Z-Man? There's two 3.3 inch Mullatrons in these fish somewhere. They have absolutely inhaled that plastic. Could become one of my new favorite flatty plackies, I reckon, this one. That's some awesome action straight up deck. Buckle up. <laughs> that is insane, mate. So oh, this is our first them. session out fishing the new 3.3 yeah. inch Z-Man Mullatron. It's an awesome rounded wedge shaped tail, which gives it a really cool action at any retrieve speed. And it looks exactly like a mullet in the water. It is so cool. And both of these guys have absolutely inhaled those plastics. So a Houdini color and a gold rush color. We're fishing dirty water, so we're using some of those darker colors. And that's, if you if you want any any better indication of how a new yeah. plucky is gonna go, a double hookup's a pretty good one. So that that's very, very cool. Right, right. Keep moving. Fish go. on. Little That's flatty. the right species. Yeah, another little flatty. I'll put my giant net in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we need it at some point today. <laughs> there we go. Another flatty. Yeah, another one. Same sort of area, just picking yeah. those edges. Yeah, just... That's a that's a legal fish as well. Yeah. There he is there. Mullet across his gob. Definitely a lot of mullet rolling out off this flat, so it's a perfect presentation. I always say everything eats a prawn, but everything eats a mullet too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Probably the most common forage fish in our rivers and estuaries yeah. would be the, I the mullet. It would be. Pop that guy back. Um, I might go to a different colour, eh? Oh no, where's it's gotta be in here somewhere. That beer run colour I reckon looks amazing. Just in, uh, yeah, I reckon that's the go. Another rattle. Yep, 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 that time he's stuck. That time he's stuck. <laughs> Perfect. Got a few touches in there. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> that, yep. Oh. Right, oh, there he is. <laughs> lost a couple, I've lost a couple here. That one doesn't feel too bad. No, not too bad, I'll get out of your way there. Perfect bit of water that we're fishing oh, here. Oh, jumping flutter. Yeah, he's fired up in the shallow water, it's only probably 80 centimetres deep or something here. I'll bring him around this way. Dad. Oh, get out of there. He is fired up, all right? Yeah. He swallowed oh, that. Oh, no, it's just under his chin there. Oh, is it? <clears throat> cranky, cranky fish. So you can see this, where we're fishing in the background here is absolutely beautiful country for a flatty like that. He's just laying in wait. We've seen a bunch of prawns skipping out and that sort of thing, so mm. a lot of bait fish. So we put that mullet imitation in there, boom, fish on. So. Mm. We've got a, a bit of a sandy spit, a big flat area draining out around a corner here, and we're focusing on the water movement. As that water movement comes around that point, those fish are holding in position. They're waiting for that bait fish. Bang, fish on. All right, that's a nice little fish. Getting up, yeah. into, up toward the 50s again on that Mullatron. I'll pop that Mullatron out of there. That's the 3.3 in the Gold Rush. We'll pop, pop that out. out. We'll oh, send this one back, and, and I'll go. tell you a bit more about this plastic. All right, so the plastic that we're swimming today is the new Z-Man Mullatron. It's an unrigged plastic, allowing you to rig it lightweight for fishing high in the water column. You can fish it deep. You can even rig it weedless as well. So it's in a 3.3 inch and a four inch, and it's a beautiful looking mullet imitation. So super realistic. I'll show you a few features on this plucky. Here's a nice one straight out of the packet. So beautiful mullet profile mullet shape for starters so that's going to attract those fish and trigger those strikes we've got a realistic eye profile in here we've got the gills and we've also got that nice fin detail on there for added realism in terms of the tail it's a rounded wedge shaped tail and what that does is it really promotes tail action rather than body roll so in the water it looks absolutely beautiful like a realistic mullet swimming so you know this thing you will have no problem imitating mullet with this and we've had some of the fish eat it right down today so they have no doubt that it looks like a bait fish to them it's got rigging pockets 
So hook slots in the top and the bottom to make rigging quick and simple, whether you're rigging weedless or whether you're rigging with a standard jig head, you can use that slot on top as a guide for where your hook comes out to get it rigged nice and straight so you can get that thing swimming beautiful in the water. So very lively tail action, and the cool thing is that nice tight tail action works at a wide range of retrieve speeds, from a really slow roll right through to burning that plastic for fish that are more aggressive. Today we're rigging it on a 3.0 hook, it fits beautifully, TT Headlocks HD in a 3.0, and we've been fishing it on a 1.8, a 1.6, and a quarter ounce for fishing shallow water through to about 1.2 metres. So you could bang a heavier head in that 3 8 or half to fish those deeper edges, and that little molotron's going to get you those flatty bites. Oh, hey, on. Beautiful. Right on the money there, Dad. Yeah, got that little tap before, and that, it chucks that net under him. Straight back in there, and he's eating it again. Oh, there he Whoa, goes. Quick release. Yeah, well, I'll see if there's another one in there. Did he just spit some prawns out, too, that dude? Talk about the oh. oh. They're holding right where they should be in that current flow. Yep, oh, yep, nice. ate it, ate it. Came back and ate it again, another fish. I'll get the net. Two and two casts there. They're loving that little molotron. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's another legal fish. Oh, nice, that mullet's down his gob again. That's on a, a real nice color too, hey? That's oh. a beautiful bait fish color. Down that. That's is, the, is he a sand planet that's again? That's the beer run, that guy. Is he a sandy? Black dot? Yeah, I think he is. Yep, dusky, yes. dusky. Oh, oh no, there's yeah. a black dot. He's just right. got a full coloration. Yeah, on a bit living in the sand there. Yeah. Right? Pulled him right off that point of the sand there. Perfect yeah. current flow. Gold That's rush. Another great little the mullet fish. is down the gob. Pop that guy out. That's cool, mate. That's uh, I'm pretty stoked first time fishing these. Ooh. First time fishing the mulletron, and it's uh We've had a bit of fun, that's for sure. That's, a, that's another flatty. So we've clocked up some numbers. Got a few reasonable fish in the yeah. 50s. Let that and, uh, guy go and we'll see how we go. Yeah, well, that, well you just, gee, that was a crazy, eh? You just had one on, released him at the boat in the water, and then boom, another one next cast. That's awesome. Bit of scuffing there, always gonna check that. Flatties love a mullet. Oh, he feels like an alright fish there, yeah, that's a big boy. Where's he going to go? Is he going to go around the front there? Do you want me to kill the spot lock? No, I should pull around, yeah, he's coming around this way. That's that, a nice fish. That might be the one we've been looking for. Yeah, I reckon. Sabotage. Got mullet stuck in the net. <laughs> How close are we, Dak? Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a nice good fish. fish. Get him in there. In the net. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fish. Beautiful. Really nice fish. That is an awesome fish. Flatties love a mullet. Hard to beat a mulletron. He has scoffed that beautifully. Beer run. Beer run, I'll tell you what. I think yeah. today's been all about beer run and gold rush. They both got that gold glitter on the belly. In this dirty water, maybe that gold glitter is the, has the key, I think, today. Righto, that's an awesome fish, Declan, that's yeah. cool. That'd be up up around the 60, a bit yeah, over the 60 probably. Yeah, would be. We'll let her go. Nice solid fish, we'll send that one back in. She's away. Lovely. And there you go, that's what's been doing the damage today. We've had a good good time on that mulletron. That's the 3.3 .3 inch, perfect bite size mullet for a flathead. And today, that gold glitter in the yeah, belly, it's, hey. it's done well. Gold Rush and Beer Run, both got that gold glitter in the belly and they've both been the go-tos today getting the bites. Yep. Predominantly fished on a quarter 3.0 in a Headlocks HD jig head. Fish on. Lovely. Right, there's another little flatty there by the looks of it. Clocking over some numbers, Dak. Yeah. That's um, just yeah. fishing light spin combos. Yep, just a two to four kilo rod there. Yeah, in there, in that. two to four and three to six kilo combos. Yeah, 2500 size reels, 10 pound braid or eight pound braid, and then a decent leader so that we guard against those raspy. Oh my god, now I'm saying they've got to keep, keep that leader decent so that you can handle those fish. So we run generally between 10 pound and 15 pound leader, so 10, 12, 15 pound leader a lot of the time yeah. when we're chasing those flatties. 
He wanted that mullet, again. He wanted that down his grub run. again, yeah. Yeah. He ate that well. Oh, That's yep. on the, the beer run colour. Across the side of his mouth there. So that beautiful tail creating lots of activity, lots of action. And that flatty really zoned in on it and yeah. ate that well. So there we go, there's another nice flatty. That's been good fun out on the water today. Bit of wind, but we've still managed to put a few flatties together on that new Mulletron. Yeah. Been good. 3.3 inch, fishing it a lot on a quarter 3.0, but mixing it up with some lighter jig heads as well. Depending on the area that we fished, we've fished some, some edges, some drains, a uh, nice little bank edge, yeah. and caught fish on all of those areas on that Mulletron. So if you want to check out that Z-Man Mulletron, check it out at your local Z-Man stockist and online at tackletactics.com.au. Fish on.